I hope they wake up soon. I'm disappointed they try to run away, and I hate the idea of having to punish them. But I have to ask them why they try to escape. It's getting kind of annoying waiting so long. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> there you are, darling. Did you have a nice nap? Hey, hey, calm down. I'm, I'm not mad at you. Well, I'm a bit mad, but I promise I'm not going to hurt you. I, I know you tried running away, and I said you'd really regret it, but I don't believe in corporal punishment. I don't want to hurt you, and honestly, if I tried, I probably wouldn't be able to. I just want to ask you, why? Why did you try to run away? Y you can tell me. Uh, I'm not going to hurt you. Please just tell me. You wanted to go home? <laughs> well, that's silly. You are home. Oh, oh, you mean your old home? Uh, okay. Yeah. I think I get it. I know change is a bit rough. You suddenly woke up here one day, and I haven't let you leave. I was starting to trust you quite a bit, but now the trust has been lost due to you running away. Well, yeah, I told you on day one, don't ever think of trying to escape. I would look for you, and I would find you. It doesn't matter where you run off to, I'd find you regardless, and clearly, I found you. Oh, I, uh, sh 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 there's no need to cry, darling. I, I promise I'm not going to do anything too cruel to you. I'm certainly upset that you tried to run. I mean, I do a lot for you here. I, I feed you. I take care of you. I make sure you're clean and stuff. You don't really have to do anything. So, I don't see why you'd want to leave. No, I'm... I'm not going to untie you for a while. You ran away, so obviously I can't trust that you won't try again soon. So, you're going to stay tied up for a while. Yeah, I, I know... I know it sounds scary and upsetting, but this is your punishment. You need to know that you're not supposed to run away. It's a pointless effort anyway, since, like I said, I'd find you regardless. I always knew how shy you were. So nervous. So shy. It was quite endearing. I had to have you. I knew you would be a bit frightened when you ended up here, but I figured I could gain your trust in due time. Oh, well, don't cry. I'll Okay, I'm, I'm going to hug you. Mm -hmm. I really shouldn't be giving you affection since you were naughty and tried to escape, but I can't resist the urge. It's too powerful. <laughs> no, no. I can't let you go, so don't ask. You're mine. Forever. And ever. And quite frankly, the sooner you accept that, the better it will be for the both of us. 
you might think I'm crazy, but I can assure you that I'm not crazy. And I'm not scary. And I'm not mean to you. There's absolutely no need to be afraid or to want to leave. You'll be okay here. I promised I'd take really good care of you. And I'm a person of my word. Oh, don't worry. You're safe, okay? What's your punishment? Well, it's, it's nothing physical. No, despite you being tied up. I'm not going to loosen the ropes until... Well, not until... I will loosen them if... Your skin starts turning blue or purple. But other than that, I won't loosen them. I know it might be uncomfortable being tied up like this. But this is because you try to run. And I hope it doesn't hurt you. I hate the idea for it to hurt you. Even... If you are disobeying me. Oh, it, it, it's okay, it's okay. Even if... Even if you were naughty. And you disobeyed me and all that. I, I still love you. And I still do. I'll, I'll still treat you well, but I'll treat you much better once you start to stay with me willingly. Then, when you will, you won't have to be tied up here, and you'll be able to roam our home. Now, I, I've got some food for you. You know what to do, darling. That's good. You're being smart and obeying me. Yeah, you know, I, I, I definitely don't want to force feed you. Because that's like weird and stuff. But, you know, it. if you wouldn't eat, I would have to. Because eating's important. And, oh, oh, no. Oh, you don't like the food. Okay. Well, at least you ate it willingly. That's that's another thing, though. I'm not going to cook your favourite foods for a while, since you try to run away. I know it seems harsh, but you should have thought of that before trying to run away. It's a shame, since I really like to cook your favourite foods, and seeing that you at least enjoy something here since you don't really want to be here even though I really really want you here at, at least you can enjoy the food yeah I I suppose you're right I did sort of kidnap you but I, I, I did it out of love I love you more than anything in the world that's why I took you to begin with I, I needed you in order to be happy I, I watched you for so long and after I finally gathered the courage to take you I felt so much better. You're the most perfect person in existence. i do anything for you. Well, I... Well, I guess I can't do that. So perhaps I can't do... everything. Because, you know can't let you go so I can do almost 
everything for you. Well, like I've said in the past, I love you way too much to let you go. You're mine and only mine, and that's never going to change. Listen, I know you're a bit scared. Like, I like how you're the shy and nervous type. It's it's sweet and melts my heart. You blush when I say you're beautiful. And when I kiss you on the cheek or the forehead. Or even sometimes when I give you a kiss or a hug. I meant hug. Why do Kissing on the mind. <laughs> like, if I just... <laughs> oh, I knew you'd blush. Oh, you're so cute. Shh, sh I know. I know. It... It's all gonna end up okay. You won't want to run away again. You know I love you. I've I've got to go for a bit, so I'll see you later. Goodbye, darling. I love you. <laughs>